Minister Carter. Uh, if you open your Bibles in the book of Hebrew, third chapter of the book of Hebrew. Praise God. God bless the saints. We're praying with you. We're praying for you. And we pray that God uh, you will advance your cause. Praise the Lord. And give you your desire of your heart. Praise the Lord. In the fifth chapter. I'm sorry. Did I say third chapter? Of the book of Hebrews. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Dorothy. We'll get there. Sister Logan is quite efficient. I said, Sister Dorothy is quite efficient. She likes to get it right. And all of, all of my writings, and all of my rights and my publications and my copyrights, she's usually going to check all my material before it go out. And she's going to proof everything that I do before it go to the public. And I appreciate Sister Dorothy. She's not particular about the forefront. She gon she gon she not particular about a name being called, but I appreciate how she proves what we do, and she make those that what we what we put out in the public is, you know, is proper, and that's why she come back behind you to make sure we putting out what we need to put out. Is that all right with you all? God bless you. In the third chapter of the book of Hebrew, in the 10th verse, if you will, thank God for Jesus. Are you looking at the 10th verse of the third chapter of the book of Hebrew? Huh? Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said they do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways. Somebody say yes to Jesus. If you have me say it again, wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said they do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways. Knowing God Somebody have said, knowing God, praise God, knowing God through Jesus Christ, praise God. Would you help me say, knowing God, knowing God through Jesus Christ. I'm going to bring your attention to Numbers, the 14th chapter. Praise God for Jesus. I enjoyed the Sunday school lesson this morning. I wasn't with you all, but I was in Sunday school. I wasn't here, but I was in Sunday school, I assure you. And you, you need Sunday school now. You may not know it. You may not know it, but you need Sunday school. Somebody said yes to Jesus. Sunday school is why you're experience with God, get maturity and growth. Him says Sunday school is where your experience with God get maturity and growth. And don't mess me up now. A river is no pure than its source. Would you have me say a river it's no pure than its source. And a building is no stronger than its foundation. Praise God. And your life and my life, your life and my life is no stronger than what we put in it. And your spiritual life can be no stronger than your spiritual application. If you don't apply it, let me say, if you don't put nothing in it, spiritually, you won't get anything out of it spiritually. Praise God. Somebody say yes to Jesus. You have to learn how to stay put. Somebody help me say, you have to learn how to stay put. 
Praise God. God plant you. Heaven said, God plant you while he wants you to grow. God can't, you can't grow when you're bouncing here and you're bouncing there. You know, God is not flaky. He's not fickle. And you can't, you can't, you can't grow. He can't grow you when you keep moving here and there. He had to plant you someplace. Is that right? I said, God had to plant you somewhere where you can grow. He gave people pastors after his heart. Somebody said yes to Jesus and teach you knowledge and understanding. And I leave that with you for no extra charge. That wasn't the lesson, but I just thought to say it. Are y'all with me? In the book of Numbers, the 14th chapter, in the 11th verse, <coughs> God bless the saints. Numbers 14 and 11, praise God. When you have it, you can say amen. Thank you very kindly. And the Lord said, help me say, and the Lord said unto Moses, how long? Will this people provoke me? Praise God. Would you help me say, God said to Moses, How long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be, help me say, air? You see the word E-R-E? -E? If you have a King James Version. And how long will it be air they believe, they believe me? Are you with me? For all the signs, and how long will it be ere they believe me? In other words, they don't believe me. They err in faith. And how long will this people provoke me? How long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have shown uh, among them. Somebody say yes to Jesus. God said, how long will they believe me not? In other words, they err in their heart. And the Hebrew writer said the reason they didn't believe God was because they didn't know God. Well, you haven't said they didn't know God. The reason folks don't believe God it's basically because people generally don't know God. Somebody said yes to Jesus. Praise God, he said. The Hebrew writer said, you read again Hebrew 3 and 10, you'll see why people don't believe God. Praise the Lord. Folks don't believe God simply because they basically don't know God. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always, have say, err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So they saw my signs. They saw all that I did to the Egyptians, and they rejoiced over it. They saw the water, and they saw the Red Sea part. They saw water come out of a rock. They saw the plagues of Egypt. But they didn't know God. Heaven said they didn't know God. Praise God for Jesus. So when the Lord said to them, go over and possess the land. I have said it before you. They sent a reconnaissance over to see if it was the way the Lord has said. They said, yeah, we saw the giants over there. And we saw the grapes. And then they were so big that it took two people to carry a cluster. But they say, uh, we saw the sons of Anak. And they say, we can't take the land. They said, they didn't know God. They just didn't know. I was with a family on yesterday. I was with a family yesterday, uh, uh, we 
grieving over the death of their loved one. And we were in the house. Sister Jan said, show me how to get to the house. And we Googled that. And, and they had lost their mother. It was sad. It was hard. The precious house full of people, children, grown-ups. And I was sitting by this lady. Uh, and as I sit by this daughter, and she was complaining and saying, people keep saying, you got to believe God. She was hurt. And she said, people keep telling me I need to believe God. But they don't tell me how. You hear me say, people keep telling me I need to believe God. But they don't tell me how to do it. And I was sitting beside her, and, and you know, I learned how to be quiet. <laughs> when people are hurt, they just hurt. Her mother and parents. Are you with me? And as I sit beside this daughter, and I was complaining, saying, People keep telling her she need to believe God. She said, but they don't tell me how to do it. And across the room, she got some encouragement from another relative sitting over across saying, yeah, they always tell you that you need to have faith, but they don't tell you how to do it. And I'll just sit there as long as I can sit there. <laughs> Are you okay? They don't tell you how to, how to do it. And you know, it was, it was pretty not easy. You know, you, you lose your mother, you hurt. You know, so I was I didn't want to be rude, and I came to comfort them. Are y'all with me? I really didn't want to say anything. Praise God, because I know that it was hard and. It was gr and they were grieving over their loved one. Finally, I say, yeah. <laughs> I say, yeah. People generally don't believe in God because they don't know God. And they got quiet. They said they do know God. People said they do know I said, yeah, you know, usually people do know about God. Let me say, folks usually do know about God. But because you know about God, doesn't mean that you know God. Somebody say yes to Jesus. So I tried as patiently as I could to tell them how to know God. Somebody say yes to Jesus. God said, these people always err in their heart. They haven't known me. They don't know me. They keep doing things for them, and they keep doing things for them. But he said, they don't know me. So Israel don't know me. And let me tell you, Don, there's a lot of people in church don't know God. Somebody say yes to Jesus. Praise God. He said, Israel do not know me. It's why they don't believe me. You would believe God if you knew God. Would you help me say, you would believe if you knew him. reason you don't believe God is because you don't know God. Somebody say yes to Jesus. To err mean believe not. So that was the people problem. They, they didn't be believe. Though they saw all his miracles of Egypt. I mean they saw it with their natural eyes. But they couldn't believe in God. Because God is spirit. Would you have me say God is spirit? And man has 
Og så bliver jeg en pæd. God said, the error, the error was in their heart. They saw with their eyes, but they couldn't believe with their heart. Error was with their heart. And the way to believe with your heart, you start with your heart. Come on, heaven, say, you start with your heart. You don't start trying to relate to God with your head. You have to start with your heart. You can't comprehend God with your head. You can't comprehend God with your IQ. You can't comprehend God with your intellect. It doesn't make a difference if you do have a PhD. If you have five, that's what Nicodemus' problem was. He was a scholar. Did you hear me say he was a scholar? He was a doctor of the law. He said, now look, I know that can't nobody do this. <laughs> Come ahead and say, Nicodemus said, now I know. Can't nobody do these milkers except they were sent from God. Nicodemus said, I know Nicodemus was, he trying to figure out, now look, you got to show me how this stuff is done. <laughs> Nicodemus won't know, now you got to show me how this stuff is done. I got sent enough to know that can't nobody do this except they were sent by God. You know, he wanted to figure this out. Heaven said he wanted to figure this out in private. <laughs> he wanted to pull Jesus to the side and try to figure this out in private. You know what Jesus said to Nicodemus? Listen, listen. Ain't no use you thinking that you can comprehend this. Come on, heaven said, ain't no use you thinking that you can grasp this. Yeah, he's a, he's a doctor of the law. Yeah, he's from the Sanhedrin courts. Praise God, but Jesus let him know you, you can't, you, heaven said, you can't get this with your hand. No, no. He said, Nicodemus, you're going to have to be born again. But heaven said, Nicodemus, you're going to have to be born again. You got to be born spiritually. Somebody help me say yes to Jesus. The way to believe with your heart you start with your heart. Praise God. And really, somebody might need to help me find this scripture. And I want to, I want to help people. I want to help them. In Numbers, I'm sorry, Acts, 20 chapter, book of Acts. No, I don't want the 20 chapter, book of Acts. I want Numbers, the first chapter. I'm sorry again. I don't want Numbers, the first chapter. I want Romans, the first chapter. Come ahead, I said Romans, the first chapter. And I need you to pray for me, too. Would you pray for me? I want Romans, the first chapter. And I would like for you to get to 20th verse. You're doing fine. You're doing fine just where you are. You don't have to, you don't have to, you can be, you can just keep staying where you're at. Just keep listening to me. Do you see Romans 1 and 20? Huh? Look at it in your Bible. Look at it in your Bible. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world yes. are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Help me say the invisible things of God. Somebody help me say the invisible things of God. Or what did he say, Sister Rose, or what? The invisible things of him from the creation of the world. Yes. Are clearly seen. Yes. Being understood by the things you can, that you are can, made. You can start from Adam up to now. The invisible things of God from the creation of the world. Or what again, Sister Rose? For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world yes. are clearly seen. Yes. Being understood by the things that are made. Yes. Even his eternal power and Godhead. 
so that they are not, help me say, they it, really, really, they're not excused. No, nobody, have an, nobody have an excuse for believing in God. Because, help me say, the heavens declares or make known the glory of God. You can know God and not know God's way. You can know God and not know Jesus Christ. Somebody say yes to Jesus. I say you can know God and not know Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't know God's way. God's ways are revealed in Jesus Christ. A lot of people know God. I believe the Muslims know God. I believe the, uh, the people call themselves the heathens. Uh, uh, they call themselves atheists and ag agnostics. People behind the bush. Folks in the rainforest believe God. Everybody believe in God because God makes himself known to everybody. God says, so everybody's without excuse. But you still don't know him until you know him through Jesus Christ. You know about him. Or you have a lesser revelation of him. But until you know Jesus, you won't have a full revelation of who God is. In Jesus dwell all the fullness of the Godhead. Somebody say yes to Jesus. All that we need to know about God is wrapped up in Jesus Christ. If you want to know that God loves you, you have to find out through Jesus. If you want to know that you've been forgiven, you have to find it out through Jesus. Somebody help me say, God said, no man have seen God at any time. Help me say, nobody's seen God at any time. Help me say, but the only begotten Son which is in the bosom of the Father. He made him known. That's why we preach. I was about to use that scripture, get that scripture, bring it to you in Acts 20 chapter, in the 21st verse, verse, 20 and 21. It's real important. Repentance towards God is first. Heaven say repentance towards God. That's where you start. Heaven say you start if you want to know God, you start, number one, with repentance towards God. Come on, help me say, if you want to get to know God, you have to start with repentance towards God. You don't have to repent towards Jesus because you don't owe Jesus nothing. Jesus is God's forgiveness. Jesus is God's love. Jesus is God's perpetuation. Jesus is God's advocate. Jesus is God's means of forgiving you. God didn't send Jesus into the world, amen, to condemn the world. But that the world through Jesus might be saved. You don't owe Jesus nothing. Look at somebody here and say, you don't owe Jesus nothing. But if you're not saved, you owe God an apology. Somebody help me say, if you're not saved, you owe God an apology. Come on, help me say, somebody help me say, if you're not saved, you owe God an apology. You don't owe Jesus nothing. Because Jesus is your friend. Help me say, Jesus is your friend. Jesus cares about you. God didn't send Jesus into the world, condemn the world. He came to seek and save that which was lost. Jesus is God's means of getting back to him. Jesus said, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. Heaven said, I'm the way to heaven. Come on, heaven said, Jesus, I'm the way to heaven. I'm the way to the Father's house. Would you look at somebody and say, Jesus, I am the way. To the father's house. To your father's house. Or to my father's house. Say in my father's house. Him is in my father's house. 
Would you have us say, in my father's house, many mansions. If it wasn't so, I would have told you. So don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe in me. Because in my father's house, there are many mansions. So if it was not so, I would have told you. Help me say, I go. Come on, help me say, I go. I go. To prepare a place for you. Jesus said in John 14, he said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. And I receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Tell me, say, holy Jesus. Tell me, say, holy Jesus. We don't know where you're going. And how can we know how to get there? That's what Thomas said to Jesus. Said, Lord, we don't know where you're going. And how we go if we don't know how, where you're going, how are we going to know how to get where you're going? Jesus, I'm the way. Help me say, I'm the way. You, you, you want to know how to get there? Jesus said, I'm the way to the Father's house. Not only am I the way, I'm the truth. And not only am I the truth, help me say, I'm the life. And nobody, help me say, nobody can get to the Father but by me. So that's why the Apostle Paul said we preach repentance towards God. You see it in the book of Acts, the 21st verse. You can read it, Sister Rose. Testifying both to the Jews yes. and also to the Greeks. Yes. Repentance toward God. Yes. And faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Repentance is towards God simply because everybody that's in singing owe God an apology. The commandment come from God. God was the one that said, thou shall not. And the Bible said, whosoever committed sin transgresses God's laws. You don't transgress Jesus' law. You transgress God's law. Somebody help me say yes to Jesus. God was the one that said, thou shall not. Bear false witness. God was the one that said, thou shall not commit adultery. God was the one that said, Thou shalt love the Lord thou God with all your heart and all your soul. Help me say, That was God. God was the one that said, Love your neighbor as yourself. Help me say, That was God. And when you break God's law, help me say, You owe God an apology. Come on, somebody help me say, Yes. Sir. You don't owe Jesus nothing. Help me say, We don't owe Jesus nothing. Repentance is towards God. Somebody say yes to Jesus. And, 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 and once you repent towards God, you know the next thing you do? Believe that you have been forgiven by God through Jesus Christ. Help me say, believe that Jesus is God's means of my forgiveness. Believe, believe that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but they shall have everlasting life. Now, if you want to know God, you'll know him through Jesus Christ. I dare you to repent of your sin. Somebody help me say yes to God. And believe that God has forgiven you through Jesus Christ. You're on your way to knowing God. Help me say, you're on your way to knowing God. Jesus is God's love. Jesus is God's forgiveness. See, once you repent, you want to believe that you've been forgiven. Somebody say yes to Jesus. Would you help me say, once I repent to God, I want to believe that God have for, for, that God done received me. Don't you, don't, once you repent to God, don't you want to believe that he done forgave you? If you step on my toe, I, I need to respond. Is that right? If I step on, if I step on this brother's toe, I need, and I say, I'm sorry, I need him to say, well, I'm forgiven. Is that right? I step on Brother, brother Cobb's uh, toe, then I, need to, I, can't, I can't do nothing to brother, brother Cobb's respond. I don't know whether I'm forgiven or not until he responds. 